set now we're gonna do today the exercise for the uh, skin this is a good exercise because it clears your system it basically clears your system inside out and that's why you're gonna have very nice very good quality skin like a silk smooth skin it's important and we're gonna do this exercise not for a long time because I know who wants to watch videos for 45 minutes okay this complex of kundalini yoga takes 45 minutes if you do the proper amount of time and that's how long you have to do it but today we're going to do only short periods of time so you know which exercise go after which one and you know how many minutes i'll explain to you how many minutes each exercise is supposed to be done so you can do it at home by yourself every day okay so this set was done um, and performed by yogi bhajan showed by yogi bhajan master of kundalini yoga in Feb on february 26 1986 and the name of this complex is for the skin i love this complex personally very much because it makes you sweat a lot and also it develops your muscles really nicely so it gives you really nice body tone and i like that a lot not only your arms also your legs your buttocks your spine your abs so pretty much this complex is for every part of the body i would say so let's do this with me together so we're going to do the first exercise first situation we're going to do this way we're going to sit down and we're just going to work our legs this way pretty basic nothing special just put a good music and do the simple exercise for five minutes 45 seconds you can chat with your friends i mean ideally if you do yoga you concentrate ideally of course but when i teach classes usually the students ask if i can say some i don't know tell stories for example because it's boring for them to sit and just do this type of thing <laughs> so <laughs> that's why i'm saying you can do it with your friend with your mom with somebody you care for because time flies fast and you do this exercise for five minutes 45 seconds it's very good for your legs for circulation of the blood very powerful exercise and extremely simple and we do this we do this we do this we start feeling better and better and better and after five minutes 45 seconds passed we add arms and we do the same thing for 10 minutes with arms and this is more complicated because two minutes maybe you can do this three minutes five minutes yes but 10 minutes is not very easy honestly trust me <laughs> so, <laughs> so we sit down and go for 10 minutes moving arms and legs together but believe me your arms are going to be in amazing shape afterwards the shoulders the, the uh, triceps the biceps your arms are going to be in amazing shape and your legs too on top of that so let's let's keep going <laughs> it's really worth it you can actually put a nice music on you know why not I have the music I'll put it on
when we're done with this exercise, we're going to sit down straight, inhale deep, hold the breath, pull the locks, anus, sexual organs, then tuck in the uh, stomach, and then chin, tuck towards the chest, so if we have all the locks, hold the breath on inhale, and relax, there you go, okay? So now we're going to go to the next exercise and it's very good for your lower back, it's very good for your kidneys and also in Kundalini Yoga they say that all the fears, instinctual fears reside in the first chakra. So it's the um, root chakra, it's the basic place for fears apparently. It's somewhere around, um, around the tailbone. And uh, we're going to stimulate this place quite a bit. So if you sleep at night and you see all kinds of weird dreams, which you may not like, it, you might have stimulated a lot this place, which is not bad because the stuff, subconscious stuff, has to come out somewhere. So it might as well come out at night. So <laughs> let's start doing the thing. We're going to do this exercise for 6 minutes, 45 seconds. We're going to lie down on the floor, on your back, palms down. We're going to lift, torso up, but do not bend your knees. Knees are straight. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And you breathe through your nose. Put the nice music on, and we're going to go for 6 minutes, 45 seconds. Of course, at home, you can do less amount of time to start with, but later you build up to 6 minutes 45 seconds. <laughs> Six minutes, 45 seconds, we go, turn around, and we do the same thing on your belly. We lay down here, this way, and we're going to lift the torso a similar way, but our arms are going to be also on the floor, this way, and head on the side. Inhale up, and exhale down. The only thing that your Toes have to be like a ballerina toes. Do not curl them underneath, you know, not like that. They have to be straight. So that's important for this posture. And we're gonna go do this exercise for nine minutes, 45 seconds, okay? So just put a nice music and let's go for, for a long trip. Finish the exercise the right way. We're going to lift the torso up, inhale, hold the breath, pull the locks, and exhale. And you can relax a little bit, or you can move to the next exercise. And the next exercise is nothing but stretching, so it's no big deal. <clears throat> next exercise, 
we're gonna do for three minutes and what we're gonna do is just stretch because body needs to be adjusted in terms of the energy kundalini is the energy it has to go through all different parts of the body and um, we have to make it happen <laughs> that's why stretching is very powerful after the exercise so it distributes the energy throughout the system in the body so we're going to lay down on our back and the arms are going to be on the floor knee to the chest stretch one side and then we're going to stretch the other side and keep going for three minutes one side then the other side This complex basically it's much fun, you know. I like to do it a lot. Some of the exercises in Kundalini Yoga are quite difficult, but this is a girly set, I would say. <laughs> it's very it's very fun and it's very easy to do. It's strenuous, it's a it's a heavy duty workout, you know, but it's fun. So we stretch, we stretch for three minutes. You can stretch slower, you don't have to go fast. Stretching is very important for the system, you know. You'll feel much better when you do this. Stretch the other way. Okay, so when you're done stretching, you can go to the favorite exercise of Kundalini, non-Kundalini yoga practitioners is Shivasana. And you lie in Shivasana for 10, 13 minutes. Do it 13, 13 minutes, because the whole set is for 45 minutes. So that's why every exercise is calculated for a certain amount of time. So let's do Shivasana for 13 minutes. And you can cover yourself with a shawl or the blanket and just take it easy. Forget about everything in the world and take off to the new dimension. Don't forget the music. I like the good music on. Thirty minutes past. We can slowly stand up. We can start stretching. Actually, very important to get out of shivasana the right way. <coughs> Let me show you how it's prop what's the proper way to get out of shivasana. Actually, we start with stretching and we continue with stretching. So you start feeling your your um, fingers, your toes in shivasana. And then you can move, rotate your ankles, your wrists, or your head if you want. And then you can stretch, start stretching the same way we started actually. You stretch one way, and then the other way. Okay? And when you're done stretching, you can rub your palms of the hands together and soles of the feet. You go like that. And after you've done that, you do three rolls on the back like this to stimulate nerve endings. There you go. It's actually quite pleasant. There you go. Okay. And that's the proper way to end up the Kundalini Yoga set and Satnam, thank you very much. Enjoy the practice and I want to tell you a few things about uh, 
bathtubs because we cleared a lot of um, a lot of impurities from the system. It's very good for detoxification, this particular complex. And uh, it's good to drink lots of water and take a bath. Oh, what kind of bath? First of all, it's good to think about bath with salt and uh, soda. You know, the baking soda, the regular baking soda, you put in the tub, it's not hot, hot, but it's kind of like, you know, nice warm bath. Uh, three tablespoons of baking soda and then three tablespoons of salt. Salt could be any salt. Aroma salt, baking, basic salt, you use it, you know, for cooking, any kind of salt. And you soak in this bathtub for 30 minutes. Don't forget your hands. Your hands are supposed to be inside of the water because the salt crystals have to work on your whole system. It's very detoxicating in terms of it gets the negativity out of your system because lots of fine vibrations, not necessarily very clear ones, we pick up from the outside. And that's why it's good to get rid of those things from our system via this crystal salt and baking soda crystals crystals are very powerful actually so this is the first bath which is recommended and also when you do very strenuous exercise yoga exercise yoga practice strenuous complex or you do for example heavy duty workout in the gym uh, what's been recommended is the hot bath with um, uh, vinegar and it's uh, apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar it's good to buy apple cider vinegar in the farmers market because it's fresh of course you can make it your own or you can just buy good quality apple cider vinegar and what you do is you drink a cup of ginger tea it could be ginger root ginger you know from the root or it could like a uh, piece of ginger root you make tea out of that or you can buy the special tea uh, ginger tea which is the same thing except one is a fresh piece of ginger you make tea out of it or the second thing is the dry you know ginger in the tea bag doesn't matter so you make yourself a hot tea ginger hot tea and while you're drinking this cup, it's going to take you maybe 30 minutes sipping slowly this ginger tea. You put hot water, hot, hot, the best, the best you can, you know, the hotter, the hotter it is, the better. But you have to be there, you have to be soaking there, so think about that. And you put a bath, meanwhile, with um, apple cider vinegar. After 30 minutes of tea, because ginger will start heat from within the body and that's why it's gonna kind of create all the purification from within and after 30 minutes it's about time to go to the bathtub and you soak yourself into the bathtub and I know that it's humanly impossible to sit there for 30 minutes so you sit there I don't know 10 minutes 5 minutes 15 minutes for me personally I can do maybe 10 minutes max. I, I can't. So don't force yourself. If you start feeling, you know, too hot, just get out of there. And you warm yourself nicely in a warm blanket, put socks, put pajamas, you know, as many layered clothes as possible because you're going to be sweating a lot, sweating a lot. And you sweat for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes in bed. Then you can go take a shower, change your clothes. And go to bed and that's it so that's how you do the purification via bathtub and of course it's recommended to drink lots of water eat lots of watermelons because all the impurities all kinds of impurities have to come out of your system and this is the best way to get them out via water and intensive sweating of course if you can visit sauna or Turkish bath, or I don't know, Russian bath, or any kind of bath, it's awesome, you know. And that's it, voila, satnam. So let me know how you feel about that. <laughs> What's your feeling after the tab? Satnam, thank you, satnam.